Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I will offer you a psalm to focus on and enjoy to bring peace and meditation into your own Christian walk. I offer this video not so much to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation and find your own calm and peace in God's Word. So, let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm I want us to look at today is Psalm 36. And the first part of the psalm, the first four verses of the psalm, speak to the worst part of our nature. It's good to know this, to help us to understand where that evil comes into people and where we have to watch for it in ourselves. Where does transgression speak? It speaks within the heart. How many times are we told in life to follow our hearts? We need to be careful of that. We need to keep that fear of God in, in us. Transgression flatters us in our own eyes, making us too full of ourselves. When we discover iniquity in ourselves, we need to hate that so that we can change it. Here is what can happen if we don't do that. We cease to be wise and good. We plan wickedness in our beds. How many plans are thought up in the middle of the night? How many paths can we be led to that aren't good for us? The psalm finishes these first four verses with, he does not despise evil. This is a point we don't want to get to. Evil is something that must be despised. So after we've gotten what in education we call the non-example, the example of what uh, something shouldn't be. In verse 5, the psalm turns. It goes to how we should turn our focus to God. God's loving kindness. What a great word. Loving kindness. See how big that is in these verses? It extends to the heavens, the very stars in the sky. God's faithfulness reaches to the sky. It's his righteousness. It's like the mountains of God, his judgments like the great deep of the ocean. We're having God compared to the great vastness of nature. I look to get a background picture that shows some of these images that the psalm invokes. The big blue sky, the towering mountains, the crystal deep waters. Look to nature to see God's greatness. Then in the next verses, we see how his great loving kindness is. We can take refuge in it, like in the shadow of the wings of a great eagle flying in the sky. And then it turns to God's abundance, which is like refreshing, cool, clear water. Drink your fill from God's river, from his fountain. And in God's light, we see what light is. Look how that contrasts with what the evil men do at the beginning of this psalm, planning wickedness in the darkest of night. Compare that to the light of God. So the last part of this psalm is a prayer to God to keep his loving kindness in us who know him and his righteousness in our hearts, as opposed to the transgression that's in the hearts of the ungodly. The prayer continues to help us to keep the foot of pride from coming down on us, to the hand of the wicked driving us from God. Because God thrusts them down if we keep this prayer in our hearts. If you enjoy this video series, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, you can do that and be alerted to our other content, such as our live streams of our Sunday morning Bible study, uh, our live streams of our worship services on Sunday, and 
at 6 p.m. on Sunday nights, another worship service conducted by our minister, Mark. So until the next time, keep Psalms and carry on.